Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to turn on center stage and use the feature and also how to turn it off. So in order to use center stage, you need to load up an application which supports it. So let's say FaceTime right here and by default it will be on. So what it's going to do, do you see my face, it's just going to track it. So if I move, you can see it tracks my face. Now you may want to keep this on, you may want to keep it off. So how do you turn it on or off? Well, what you're going to do is you get your finger here. And you just want to slide down from the top right hand side so you can see where the battery percentage is uh, the wi-fi you're just going to slide down so three to one let's slide down and once you slide down you're going to see here effects you're going to tap into effects and what you're going to see is center stage on tap into this and it will turn off the center stage now you're also going to see portrait mode if you tap into this what it's going to do is it's going to add a depth effect to your face so you can see here the background see that phone there it blurred the background out, but my face isn't blurred out. You can see all the background around here is also blurred out as well. So that is what the portrait mode uh, does. If you would like to turn that off, then all you do is you slide down again from the top right. So slide down, effects, portrait, and then you turn it off. So once you have both off, you can see no background blur. The phone is perfectly visible in view. If you want to turn it on again, you slide down from the top right, tap into effects, center stage back on. And there you go, you can see the center stage is working. So this works on its own. There's no customization. It will just track your face. If there's multiple people, it will zoom out. Uh, so that's just how it works. And um, yeah, so it's a pretty darn useful tool. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.